Hi everyone, this update about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is still struggling. That one of my particular price target area 19,897. And you guys can see Bitcoin is dancing in between one of my price target. That's what I'm going to talk about. And still not yet, subscribe the channel, subscribe the channel, press the like button, leave a comment. And that's how you're motivating me. And please press the like button, guys. Might be you will have. Uh, best chance and press the subscribe so you will have best chance and the best information always i'm trying to give you 100 percent accurate price targets guys so uh for your like it's make my uh, channels grow because it's algorithm helping me also because that your small like it's make the big difference with the other people so you know the true is take if what i'm saying if someone get benefited from that one that's you're the one helping not me Anyway, uh, we'll talk about and before starting the video, I need to show you the Nasdaq, which I uh, talk about previously, what's going to happen for the Nasdaq. And I talk about that uh, 200 already here. Right now, we can need to change the 50 period moving average. We'll see what is happening in the 50. You guys can see the 50 period moving average, what happened in a previously. So in a four hour, uh, hopefully I talk about daily okay I will change the daily so I need to show you something very important guys that's why I'm checking in a daily I talk about this scenario pretty much everyone remember so I will play out this video just check it out what I'm saying in a Nasdaq because it's depend on the Bitcoin video for sure tomorrow we seeing that touch and we need to see immediately bounce from here in case of we fake out from there you seeing the fake out thing from there that's going to be the disaster scenario and previously we touched the 50 million moving average dropped drastically right now so i talk about that scenario we need to see the bounce from here that's my one of particular price target area i have already gave uh 12532 that is the bouncing area we dropped in here you guys can see the candle if i take a little bit behind you guys can see the candle because i when i see this candle my expectation to bounce here right now we are already below than that in a 50 period moving average and right now that's the going to be the disaster scenario it going to be effect for bitcoin guys so you guys seeing the scenario this is pretty much four hour candlesticks pattern i will change to four hour the similar kind of pattern this is the last four hours you know today 30th so 30th, you guys can see in a similar kind of drop drastically and we have a small bounce. We drop drastically, we have a small bounce. It's still struggling without direction. That's what I need to show. This is the correlation with the Nasdaq and Bitcoin. And we'll talk about what is the next. Actually, I need hourly chart because I need to show you something very important. After pretty much we landed in here, we have an impulse wave count, one, two, three, four, and five. So this is very small a wave count guys, that's why I started to use one hour. So we made already the first higher high. is the first one is too weak anyway this one first here the wave two pretty much we landed exact area we made a double bottom scenario right now i'm going to count as a bullish wave count so in scenario going to be pretty much double bottom yes exactly so we started to move higher and landing the same area. So right now we are holding the price. If you count as a one and two, the next going to be the another one, two scenario. That next also it's going to be the one more, one, two scenario. We are not going to be another third wave because we already go way below than expectation area. It's already crossing the road. So I'm not able to count as a wave three. That's the clear information. So the next wave one we need to monitor, but we can still talk about in a bearish, bearish wave count. So in the downtrend still we can talk about because right now you guys can see in a 
potential to move down in you know, hourly we seeing the reaction with that uh, rsi trend line and rsi moves so rsi moving to downside pretty much trend line downside you know for one hour and early, already you guys can see we land to the trend line and getting bounce here and one more touch we are going to do in a rsi trend line and one of my particular target area the 40 11 levels so then it's possible to bounce here and make little more higher prices so that's what i'm going to give you my expectation as of now in the larger wave count this is very smaller wave count we are in a downtrend so possible Possibility area I already gave everyone knows where my possibility is here as a wave fifth. Sorry, as a wave fifth is this is my expectation area to land right now. And the first wave we can consider okay, first we drop it, and this is the one, and we are going to land. But the possibility is still to go a little bit higher prices, and at least my expectation to hit. Uh, 21 no my expectation to hit 20,700 but still we did not break that levels so we need to touch that level of, after breaking out thing happened for that levels so we can talk about and right now I need to extend one of my trend line that's what I'm going to do at the moment so this trend line is more accurate okay because i check in here this candle that is the last candle touch i remember so i i focus in a, this candle this candle should be touched because in a, this touch as well that one of trend line i'm focusing little longer time you guys can see where the, the starting from this candle uh, trend line so right now you guys can see where the trend line started trend line is starting pretty much here we drop drastically touch again drop drastically and right now it's again we're trying to break that trend line and move higher and drop drastically again the same pretty much right now we have the last touch also so we're seeing the last touch that's why i extended my trend line so you guys can see it because right now we have the one of trend line resistant after extending that trend line you guys can see pretty much 100% price accurate for that one that meaning people are following that trend line now you guys have a proof even here touch and here always all the touches 100% accurately moving we're trying to move higher break out and drop down again trying to move higher again coming down along with the trend line that is the one of disaster scenario because we need to see the bounce in a, none of the area we did not see the proper retest because we did not retest properly starting to move higher only one place we starting to retest and we did not bounce that much and started to move higher so this is all the area you guys can see and this touch is 100% accurate so we extended a little bit now you guys can see where the price move so in a here we have a one area sorry exactly one of touch area anyway this is the trend line even if i go a little bit far away to check where the trend line moving and we have a pretty much some touches you guys can see 100 percent accurate price touches there so right now i need to extend because too much price i need to clean that one because i cannot clean because of the this all the trend line is very important at the moment so right now still possibility to land lower so my expectation area I still did not touch that my expectation area is 20,700 I still did not touch but we go in a very much closer 20,500 that time everyone expecting everyone super bullish guys that's one of the scenario and yesterday someone commented to me we are moving upwards I'm so surprised and this is the reply on you guys for don't panic for the little bit one thousand dollar doesn't make any sense for bitcoin that's what i need to keep it in your mind keep it in your mind one thousand even i'm not bullish after hitting the twenty five thousand dollar levels you guys think i'm bullish right now it's totally different scenario so keep it in your mind i give you even people are super bullish while we are going to the twenty five thousand everyone know what is the reason and i need to show you the next scenario and 
it is much so we are trying to move trying to move little bit far away from the my main trend line this trend line everyone knows the most of the time we are going to break that trend line this is the larger wave trend line for bitcoin since beginning so this one we touch fake out again we're going to touch fake out downside guys so when we are going to break that levels and when we are going to break this trend line that's the place we are starting to move higher most of the time when we touch the trend line we are trying to move from trying to move a little bit far away from the trend line that is the disaster scenario and it's still trading on it one of my particular price box you guys know when i made this price box still behind the price box and i give the previous price box also we fake out and right now potential to go down guys because we are we seeing that 50 period moving average straightly coming down that is the one of disaster scenario for bitcoin the possibility to have a lower level prices that's my expectation for bitcoin so that's all about the bitcoin guy if you love the content subscribe to the channel press the like button leave a comment that's how we motivating me thank you very much have a lovely day be safe